I have a cool Valentine's Day story for you. Some of you may know that I'm on my second and last marriage. So in February of 2008, I connected with an old friend of mine who I thought was pretty darn cute. In July of 2008, I met up with a mutual friend of ours and he showed up for dinner. And I remember thinking, you're so cute. But I lived in New Jersey and he lived here in Ottawa. And what are the chances? You know, that wasn't gonna work out. And at the time he was dating somebody. He was extremely loyal to the girl that he was seeing. And that made me even more attractive to him because he was loyal and trustworthy. So we continued to talk through Facebook messaging, never flirting or anything, just telling each other about our days. Anyway, so him and his girlfriend broke up and we continued to talk more. So February of 2009, I sent him a message and said, you know, if I were gonna spend Valentine's Day with anybody, it would be you. And he said, okay, I'm coming. He drove to New Jersey, which is about a seven hour drive. And we had our first weekend together, our first date, our first time alone. That weekend, he told me he loved me. I was a little scared, but I knew I loved him too. I just didn't see how it was gonna work with me being in New Jersey and him being home and how we how were we gonna bring these two families together so there was a lot of decision making to do because in the beginning I thought there's no way I'm gonna move home with two children and a dog and with his two children and a dog based on the very little information that we had on each other <laughs> Now the beauty of it is, was that I actually knew a lot about him. We all had similar friends. Um, we had different paths in school, but we were familiar with each other. We were familiar with our siblings and our friends and the location that we grew up. I unfortunately didn't have any money. So moving back home was gonna be difficult anyway. By the way, this was already in the plans before Dave and I decided to be with each other. I had already decided I was moving back to Canada. I just wasn't sure how that was gonna happen. Anyway, it turns out we just went for it. So got together in February of 2009, Valentine's Day. <laughs> June 20th of 2009, we came together as a family. Me, Dave, four children, two dogs, and it's been wonderful. Oh, I forgot to tell you, the first time that Dave brought Lindsay and Krista to New Jersey, Lexi, my oldest, when they left, Lexi said to me, can you marry Dave so Lindsay can be my sister? <laughs> Crazy, eh? I'm so grateful that the kids have all gotten along. Everybody's been accepted and loved. I know it could have gone so bad and it didn't. Anyway, so this will be, have we been married 13 years? We got married in 2000, everything happened in 2009. Wow, how time flies. So happy Valentine's Day. I hope you have some good stories and memories too. Valentine's Day doesn't have to focus on a romantic love. It's just love. I hope that you are loved and I hope you can show love as well.